MacBook Pro 16, a lot of computer for a lot of money. Yes, this is MacBook Pro 16 base model with a 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU and only one upgrade. I decided to upgrade a hard drive because video and photo editing is mainly what I do with this machine. I also watch movies, YouTube, writing scripts, bills and another basic task. In this video I'm going to share my experience with this computer after six months of use. So first thing I would say what I got also confirmed from a friend owning 32 core 14 inch version is that I used to get a lot of glitches and why I'm saying used to get it's I gonna tell you a bit later. As example simple uh, minimizing Final Cut full screen window causes uh, freezing down for a few seconds or Final Cut just stop working and I have to restart Final Cut by forcing to quit. There would be more examples but this is what I noticed the most. I'm also pretty sure you heard about the edges around here uh, being too sharp and causing uncomfortable feeling after extensive working times. Uh, yes, I'm having the very same issue while I was writing this script I got to the point only about 10 minutes into writing that I got uh, tattooed the corner of the computer onto my arm. Another concern what people initially had was the camera notch. Well I have never noticed it to be bad for me. Uh, in my eyes it just blend in and uh, that was it. Notch forgotten same as on my iPhone. And when I'm already speaking about iPhone uh, I'm again used to having a lot of trouble with uh, connecting between my iPhone and uh, computer to make hotspot from iPhone. Sometimes it took turning off the hotspot, sometimes it, uh, I had to restart the computer and again I'm speaking in the past because after latest or maybe two firmware updates ago it stopped this all together. Today when I turn on the computer it automatically detecting the phone and asking for a permission to connect to the hotspot even when the phone has a Wi-Fi off. These small touches makes the big difference in my opinion but still Apple and its anti-repair politics or life. <laughs> When it comes to working in a half lazy position on a sofa or from the bed I find the cooling fan to be always very quiet and almost silent which is causing the backlit uh, to get very warm to the touch and especially while exporting photos in Lightroom or editing video. Let's go to keyboard. It feels a little empty behind I was using uh, for past two years Magic Keyboard with the uh, iMac and the feeling reminded me on something like empty space behind try to knock on an empty cardboard. I got used to it but for example my girlfriend do not like it at all. What she also does not like is the weight of the laptop. I personally do not have a problem with it but just the note that the laptop is on the heavy side. Now let's move to video editing. Recently I was shooting music video where I needed to stack 12 clips of 5.9k 10-bit H.265 clip above each other in Final Cut and I must say after rendering the computer handled the timeline with ease. I also tried to edit raw, red raw clips, uh, color grade them and absolutely no problem with uh, even this kind of footage. So the raw performance in Final Cut especially is uh, all I can possibly need for my needs. As a photo vi and video person I absolutely love the SD card reader so I do not need to have any dongle or anything extra to download footage from my camera. Battery life also did not disappoint it uh, and getting few hours of a browsing internet, watching YouTube or movies or even video editing 
is not a problem at all. I really like MagSafe, but the charging cable could be a little bit longer. The speakers are not as good uh, as on the iMac, but they're very good for a laptop and you cannot change the physics probably. Uh, this MacBook is my first MacBook and I must honestly say that the touchpad on it is gigantic and I had to get used to it for quite a long time. But now with some time it feels still way too big. And to reach right click with my pinky is very, very hard. That's why I'm mostly using mouse. So generally this Mac provides a lot of computer, but is it enough for its price? Yes, in my opinion, but it's still very expensive. I paid 2,750 euro, but it is up to you uh, if you can offer to spend this much money on a laptop. I would recommend this uh, computer to basically anyone who is doing photography or video. It will handle all new cameras as a Sony A7 series, Panasonic S, Fuji and even a Red RAW. Also in the future when the codecs get harder to process, I think this Mac going to have enough power to transcode to ProRes thanks to its video encoders. Then you're going to be basically able to squeeze a few more years out of this machine, I believe, or I gonna squeeze hopefully more, more years from this machine. And for the end, about the price, especially today, end of August 2022, at German Amazon, this exact spec costs 2,550 euros, which is 220 euros less than I paid. I recommend not to buy from Apple because there is exactly this model for 2,979 euros today. Thank you for watching.